don't want to cut out anything unnecessarily. Close one eye and then close the other one. That one's a little crooked. Hey. Hey. You put lipstick on? Does that look good? Yeah. I mean, I'm a crooked fucker, so. Yeah, it's pretty fucking crooked. Surprise, motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. Well, my suspicions are correct. You'll be able to tell just any moment what's going on in this world. Actually, it's a not a bad day. I figured the camera would fog up immediately due to the humidity. Wow, it's not too bad out here. I'm rather impressed with the situation. <laughs> but for the last 30 days or so, it's been pretty ridiculous around here. High 90s, high humidity, puts the heat index somewhere between 105 and 115 on a consistent basis. And frankly, I was just getting sick of it. It was just a couple years ago I decided to quit training during the summer. You know, at the Kylo School from the solstice all the way through September 1st, we're not doing new student training. You know, we'll, we'll still fly, we'll still train, but only flight operations. We're not doing a whole lot of ground handling and carrying on because it's not many mild days like this. There's just not many at all. Today's pretty nice. I may actually go outside and do some chores, but I had, I had on the slate that I would do some editing and then I would make some edits for this vacation video that we're about to watch. You can't really beat the heat around here. That's not a thing. You can take sort of a vacation from it. Like I won maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 rounds, but ultimately the heat wins. Uh, that's just the way it is. I got no, uh, I got no good remedy. I, you know, I buy air conditioning, I burn gasoline, fly around, but that's about all you can do. That's about all you can do to beat the heat, but uh, I tried, and that's what this video is about. Turns out Lake Michigan has a lot of dunes, and you gotta hike a lot of dunes. I don't know the guy in the mask, but that's Aaron I and Josh Perry. Two Missouri natives that decided to join the fun. Or maybe I decided to join their fun. I don't know. But this is Saugatuck. Saugatuck's got this dune. Pictures don't do it justice. I got some aerial shots coming up later in the video. Look how strong it is though. Look at this bird. Got his wings pulled in and he is screaming through there. Wind was 25 miles an hour at the top of the dune maybe. Probably 18 down at the bottom. I did my my first speed flight at this dune. And I'm just gonna let you watch this. It's just a, a short little speed flight. This is the first time I ever put on this harness, this wing. I bought this wing over a year ago, maybe two years ago, with the idea that I would take it to a dune somewhere, sometime in some super strong wind and soar it. And sadly, there's no video of me soaring it. This was just a sled ride that I did. I kind of started at the bottom, hiked it up to the top a little bit. I just playing around. I actually had the trimmers out some on it, and, and when I pulled them on in, I was able to catch the lift band, and I soared for maybe a half an hour, but again, it was it was insanely strong, like, like really, really strong. Look at the water white capping out there, blasting big waves in, and I'm down at the bottom of this 300-foot dune, and it's still honking this much. It's trying to lift me up, but I'm just kiting, just feeling it. The sand offered no stability as far as walking. This is my first time kiting in soft sand. I really liked it. There was a little bit of debris to mess with. It wasn't clean right here exactly, but it was clean enough. I ended up playing with it, and I probably did a couple little sledders and then a big soaring flight uh, to top it off. And I didn't take any pictures. I don't think there's any video of it, but that's what transpired that day. And if it wasn't for Aaron and Josh and Jason and Shane and anybody else who took video and offered it up, there really wouldn't be any video of me doing any of this. This is me on vacation. I've not been making a lot of videos anyway, but, you know, I like making vacation videos. They allow me to relive it a little. And so I'm realizing here my mistake, like, shit, I gotta kite up the hill again. On the way out, we ran into this guy, Mr. Andrew. Turns out he's a preacher and had a church that we could chill in the shade and use the internet and, uh... Just, just very accommodating to some strangers in his neighborhood. Now, we ended up coming out here to this uh, abandoned airport and did some paramotor flying. And I got like a smidge of video and a couple pictures of that. Here's Josh doing a launch. What's up, y'all? Kylo here. I present to you Lake Michigan. It's pretty neat. I'm here, I'm finna fly this coast. Different spots, there's some dunes down here that we hit this morning. I might fly down there and try to paramotor on them. 
Uh, this is the first fan motor video I've made in a minute. I drove here last night, 14 hours. It always seems like any time I go somewhere new to fly, I have to drive at least 14 hours. <laughs> Not really, but I find that that's a common theme. Fishing. You know, realistically, I was just looking for cooler weather, but I found this amazing ridge at the coast of Lake Michigan, and it wasn't everywhere. For example, here's a place where there's a harbor. A lot of lighthouses, a lot of lighthouses in Michigan, but uh, you find these little flat places where there's no ridge, and then you go down just a little further, and there will be a ridge there. But uh, I was just out here doing some wingy dinging. You know, it was an unpopulated beach, and so I decided to get low in this situation, but it's very populated. There were very few places that weren't posted private property, etc. Now, here's the actual dunes that I was flying that morning when it was so much stronger. And you can see, like, the perspective on it is quite a bit different when you're looking at it from this angle versus when you're filming on the dune itself. It looks like nothing. I figured I'd land over here by the truck. Oh! Point is a place near Frankfort, Michigan. Look at the size of this dune, and you can drive to the top of it. The retrieve is way down the beach, but it's about a nine minute turnaround. Now, just to talk a little bit about free flight, I like to get ready kind of behind the hill and then tote my stuff down. Once I get there, I set up, and, and it's a totally different scheme when you're getting ready to free fly versus like setting up for a motor flight. I mean, it's slower, it's more thought out, it's more like golf than. I don't know, paramotoring is more like naked wrestling. Free flight's more like golf. Again, strong conditions. I was able to do a good launch here, maintain control. I mean, that's what you're going for. Just a smooth, good launch, nice inflation, and then kapow, rocketing up. And that's why I do this, you know, this feeling of Mother Nature taking you aloft and you're not having to use the motor. I don't know. It's, it's a different sport. It's a different sport altogether, and I'm straight up in love with it. And that's why I drove 14 hours here to do it. Because it was the only cool spot in the country that you could do it this day. And so, boom. Mission accomplished. And I found a great spot and fell in love with this place. Greenpoint. And there I am, specking out. That's what they say in California. If you get all the way to the top, you specked out. Booyah. Conditions pick back up later in the day. So I did a second launch. I didn't know I was being videoed. This one's not near as graceful as the first one, but... Hi-ya! There you go. Conditions were 20 miles an hour. Winds were 20 miles an hour out here on this hill. You know, it, it varies as you push up and out and back at the top. You get different places, but right where I launched, it was right at 20. And we met one of the local guys and uh, smuggled some ice cream into this restaurant. Had a good dinner. I had to. I still owe Josh Perry. We packed up camp at Greenpoint, and we are going to head to Empire Airport, William Bolton Memorial, probably. And um, it's another beautiful morning. I'm running the heater, middle of July. I got the heater on full blast. <laughs> I'm headed further north, and then we're going to do paramotoring out of there. It's real calm. It's not good for free flight. Mild, mild light winds. A lot of moisture, but it's good moisture. Oh, it feels good around here. Dew on everything, but it ain't that salty dew. You know what I'm saying? Now, we were headed over to a national lakeshore. I've never flown a national lakeshore. Now, we launched out of this airport on paramotors this morning, and this is called Empire Bluffs. This is another free flight site. They allow free flight on the national seashore. Not motor flight. Motor flight, they request that you stay 2,000 feet above and you can't land there. It's prohibited. So this is Empire Bluffs. And then this one is Sleeping Bear. Now, Sleeping Bear was much more amenable. You could fly to the top. I mean, I'm sorry, drive to the top of it and then do a launch. And that's what I did. I ended up doing a free flight. What I did not expect was about 200 spectators on this dune. It was very busy for like, I mean, it's good weather. Everybody's out there. You can hear the crowd after I launch here. Let's check this one out. Yay! 
And I gotta tell you, it was a very memorable flight. It wasn't very long. I maybe was up there 20, 30 minutes. What was happening was the winds were predicted to shift from the west to around to the north. And it started to happen as I was doing my flight. And so I got to a point where it was getting kind of cross and I was losing lift a little bit. So I top landed on the dune to keep from having to walk up because that's like a thousand foot walk up that dune. You see those specks down there? Those are people. We ended up top landing and everything was great and dandy and I didn't damage any of the endangered plants. From there, we trekked even further north, all the way to a place called North Port. Chris Hibner had joined us at this point and brought some of his famous Detroit beer. Shout out to Supernatural Breweries. Wow, that stuff's tasty. What's up, YouTube? Oh, look at me. Terrible content right off the bat. I'm fishing to uh, launch North Port, Michigan. I've hiked it, I've swam it, drove to it. I'm about to fly it on paramotors. He got a dangly phone. <laughs> Don't hit the phone. Don't hit the phone. And sometimes they'll flip back and get exploded. All right, let's prime it and fire it. Mount the steed. And as per normal on my adventure vlogs, they just really suck. I get so soaked into the new places and the new sights and smells and terrains that, that I just get, I get lost and I can't talk. I don't do very well vlogging on vacation for whatever reason. That's, you know, that's why I'm doing the voiceovers now. Yeah, they, got, they had just painted all the, the parts of the airport there, the Woolsey and everything. I think they were getting ready for some sort of event. I don't know. Maybe they were just painting the rocks, but... <laughs> That was, uh, I did a touch and go for one of the spectators. She wanted to see what a landing looked like. So doing a touch and go here. And then off I go into the sunset. It's a pretty long push out here to the ocean. I keep calling it the ocean. Why do I keep doing that? So what can I really say about it after the fact? Freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful and amazing. There were mosquitoes at this place. There were mosquitoes. And uh, again, beautiful sunset. Thumbs up for Woolsey though. Aaron and I and myself stopped here at the 45th parallel. If you don't know what the 45th parallel is, 45th parallel is halfway between the equator and the North Pole. So here we are at the top of the state of Michigan. Right on, this is actually a little peninsula that juts out into the water. We're leaving a place called North Port. Lake Michigan is on the other side of the land, like the main body of the lake. This is just kind of a little little hook that goes in down to Traverse City. And uh, we just met a fisherman and asked him what he was fishing for. He had no idea, he's not from here. So we thought that was great. We hadn't seen anybody fishing here yet. So we we're curious about that. Okay, morning vlog over. Lake Michigan, Kyle out. So then it was on around the bend. This is not Traverse City as it's spelled. They say Traverse City. Traverse City, like one word. That's what the locals told me. So I, I was able to, they still knew I wasn't from around there. It don't matter how I say it. They knew I wasn't from around there. So due to the fact that there was no winds, we went south again and hit this place, uh, Silver Lake. Silver Lake's got a big old sand dune. You're fitting to see that. Shane here on the right, he's our local connection. He hooked us up with this place at this golf course. He took us on a Jeep ride. What a wonderful host. Thanks, Shane. Gosh. I figured that would happen. We had almost made it too, didn't we? Oh, we gotta move over there where they don't have any pumps. Let's see if this is not gonna work. There's Josh Perry launching out of Mady for the first time, maybe. Yeah, slow climb to be expected. I'm gonna turn it down so I could talk to you and not be distracted. Cause I am gonna make a pair of vlog tonight. That's my goal. I ain't done a good one yet. I've been ignoring the camera nonstop. Not tonight. I'm gonna talk about it. We're at a golf course. We're about to launch out of the driving range. <laughs> the owner made the people stop hitting drivers so that they wouldn't paint us with the golf balls. Although everybody knows we are certainly a target. Everybody's gonna be aiming for us. That's a fact. Buckle up. I wanna be quick. I'm gonna get out here, clip in, warm up, get the fuck out. We're in public, so I don't wanna loiter. Josh is having to do a circle because he's on Adam 80 and we need some real altitude to get out of here for the next bailout. You'll see why. But we're going to go fly Silver Lake Dunes. The largest dune that you can drive on east of the Mississippi River. But we got Josh, me, Aaron, Shane, and Jason. And we are all about to go out here 
the Silver Lake Sand Dunes and cut up. If I can launch, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, clip. park right there that would be a good bailout I think oh there's a little wind <laughs> so these dunes look massive from down there on the ground I know you can't see it on the camera again GoPro for the fail We've got people canoeing in the river down here the lake I think this is a lake very nice let's go trims out and build some speed and we're gonna penetrate and add a little gas I always know my trims are out when I have trouble reaching my trimmers I mean, my toggles. Yeah, Silver Lake Dunes. ATV recreation area. How about this stuff, huh? So I'm gonna pull these in. And we're gonna get low and nasty. And see what it feels like to fuck around on these dunes here, huh? I never went to Glamis. I know it's, you know, much bigger than this, but I rode out here today. This is how we came in. And then I went over here and I went swimming in the water. That was pretty fun. But they won't let you launch from out here. You can only drive the ATVs. I think that's kind of silly. But it turns out there's a famous fatality video that happened here, like a power parachute, killed a passenger, plowed in one of the dunes, doing tricks out here low. So that was sad. Yeah. Look at him climbing the hills. That's fun. Scooch out of my seat in case I need to do a emergency landing, huh? Foot drag the top of each one of them, right? The top of the steep one, perhaps? Let's see. Man, these dunes are so sugary. Got boats out on Lake Michigan? Yeah, this is pretty badass. There were people snowboarding down this dune earlier. They were riding snowboards down and into this lake. It's pretty awesome. Woohoo! I'm kind of speechless, y'all. Oddly enough, I'm kind of speechless. Is it even recording? It may be recording. Hell, I don't know. Pictures. Pictures. There's Mr. Aaron and I. Aaron didn't look before he turned. I was watching for him. What a fun time, y'all. What else can I say about it? Let me go to the top. See, I'm already high enough. I got the glide to the golf course. So even if I had an engine out right now, I would still aim toward the golf course. I may kill my engine anyway. But I'd like the option for a go-round, like in case somebody's hitting some balls or, you know, some shit like that. Man, the water looks really nice, too. All the water around here looks nice. It's clear. You can see through it. Very little algae growing. I mean, there's some. It's a, it's a lake. Ponds, you know. But you can see through the algae at least a little bit. It was clear up north, that's for sure. Up on the north end of the lake, it was not as, I guess, murky as it is here. I swam in both places. I could tell the difference for sure. Yeah, I don't hardly see anybody on the golf course. Okay, there's some golfers and there's some people over there at the chipping green. But I don't see anybody over there at the putting green. I also see that the winds are like nil. All right, there's nothing down there. We got to parallel the trees and the power lines and then hook it in. There's power lines that surround the field. So you can't just come at it at a low angle. And let's get our shit and get out of the way. Y'all still watching? What's wrong with y'all? This ain't no kind of good content. I bet he takes it. Hit him! Free round of golf for whoever hits him. The little kids are trying hard. <laughs> I'm wagging at the balls down there. <laughs> run, Aaron! Run! They're coming after you! <laughs> Ten points! I'll give you 20 if you can hit him. Look at him! Look at him! 
there comes another one. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. And this is a picture with five of the seven students that I actually met up with on this trip. So it just really blew my mind that I was able to meet up with so many acquaintances so far away from home. Next morning, we had breakfast after staying at Aunt Susie's house. Thank you, Aunt Susie. What a pleasure. And after that, it was Northwest Bound. So that's going to be in another video at another time. This one's running kind of long. Thank you for watching, y'all. What's up? Kyle out.